Aircraft carriers are essential for modern navies, providing a mobile and flexible platform for projecting air power. They play a crucial role in military operations, allowing nations to maintain presence and influence in different parts of the world. The combination of aircraft, technology, and manpower on an aircraft carrier creates a formidable force capable of executing a wide range of missions, from combat operations to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief efforts. Historically, the Imperial Japanese Navy had a strong focus on aircraft carriers. In fact, the first aircraft carrier of the Japanese Navy was the Hosho. It is the first purpose-built aircraft carrier in the world, commissioned 13 months before Britain's HMS Hermes. On December 27, 1922, the Hosho was put into service. It was designed with a unique cruiser-style hull featuring a single-level hangar and a flight deck that sloped slightly downward. This design was intended to aid in the acceleration of aircraft lift, ensuring smooth takeoffs and landings. After undergoing several flight deck trials, the Hosho underwent modifications. The island, which had initially been built on the flight deck, was removed and the deck was leveled out. These alterations were aimed at improving the carrier's functionality and performance. During the 1920s, the Hosho played a crucial role in developing early Japanese naval aviation doctrine. However, as the war progressed, the Hosho required further modifications to accommodate modern aircraft. A more extensive flight deck was added in 1942. While this allowed the carrier to accommodate more advanced aircraft, it rendered her ineffective for open ocean travel. As a result, the Hosho was limited in her capabilities. At the start of the Battle of Midway in June 1942, Japan had the largest aircraft carrier fleet in the world. However, this dominance did not last. As the war raged on, many Japanese carriers were sunk, and the remaining carriers met a similar fate. By the end of the war, Japan's once mighty aircraft carrier fleet had been devastated. The Hosho played a significant role in the development of Japanese naval aviation. As the first purpose-built aircraft carrier in the world, it paved the way for future advancements in carrier design. Until now, Japan has never officially announced to build of a new supercarrier. The Japanese Navy prefers to modify its helicopter carriers as light aircraft carriers. Japan's new aircraft carriers are making waves in the global defense arena, and for good reason. The country is transforming its existing helicopter carriers, known as the Izumo class, into fully-fledged aircraft carriers. One of these carriers, Kaga, recently underwent modifications to enhance its capabilities for fighter operations. This move signifies Japan's strategic shift towards a more assertive defense posture. The modifications to the carriers are being carried out in phases. These include applying a heat-resistant coating on the deck to withstand the high temperatures generated by jet blasts and changing the deck shape from a trapezoid to a rectangle design. Japan plans to operate American-made F-35B jets, short takeoff and vertical landing style variants of the conventional F-35A jets. With 42 F-35B already on order, each carrier can accommodate at least 12 advanced jets alongside 16 helicopters. 
These modifications enable Japan to operate F-35B and give the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force the capability to conduct strike operations if needed. The F-35B, with its fifth-generation technology, is a generation ahead of the J-15 fighter jets deployed on China's larger aircraft carriers. In strategic terms, this means that these upgraded Japanese carriers, fully operational by 2027, will pose a significant challenge to the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy in terms of their ability to penetrate China's sophisticated anti-access or area denial air defense systems. Adding to China's concerns, Japan has been acquiring long-range strike missiles capable of targeting high-value Chinese assets. In early 2024, Japan signed a deal worth over $2.3 billion to purchase at least 400 Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles from the United States. This acquisition further enhances Japan's offensive capabilities and demonstrates its commitment to protecting its national security interests. With the deployment of F-35B and the acquisition of long-range strike missiles, Japan is positioning itself as a formidable player in the Indo-Pacific region, provoking both admiration and concern among its neighbors. Time will tell how these developments will shape the future of regional security.